So anyone who seriously engages with the topics of NIS, the two directives, the cryptic umbrella law, all the open questions hanging over them, and especially important and highly relevant answers to the central issues in today's geopolitical situation cannot, and I am truly open and straightforward here, in good conscience offer their end customers products from China. This is a negligent approach, both regarding the safety of the end customer and ultimately, of course, also my credibility as an installer and my business foundation as an installer in the long term. So I would like to address the topic of NDAA compliant and made in China. There are certainly customers for whom this is not as relevant, but especially in the area of critical infrastructure, I can no longer do this with a clear conscience. Nevertheless, there are certainly some additional valid points that speak in favor of Domaya and our made in Europe or made in Germany concept. On one hand, we are talking about quality, the durability of products. A camera is not something you replace every five years like a PC. I have a high assembly effort, so the product lifespan is certainly a significant point. The old merchant saying high quality is nothing more than another discount plays an important role here. There are also other topics that are again related to long-term sustainability. Backward compatibility, for example, is something we ensure both on the software side as we have some of the longest um, update and maintenance periods available and it extends to hardware compatibility as well. If you replace a Domaya built-in camera from 10 years ago today, you will find that the screw holes of the current Domera generation fit just as they did before. So one should not focus solely on the initial acquisition cost, but rather consider the entire product life cycle, and very importantly, not overlook the topics of cybersecurity and data protection.